Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are once again nailing navigation. Specifically, we're going to start looking at the zoom tool and uh, the functions of zooming in and out of Finale. And um, it seems like that might be a simple thing, but as with most things in Finale, it is simple until it's not. Um, the zoom tool is the second tool in your tool palette. It looks like a little magnifying glass, and when you click on that, you get a little magnifying glass mouse. And it has a plus in the middle, which means you're about to zoom in. Just click, and you zoom in. Click again, it will zoom in. If you hold down Option, your magnifying glass now has a minus sign in it. And you click again, and it zooms out. So that's you know the simple uh, truth of just zooming in and out with the zoom tool. Now, we don't need to switch to the zoom tool to actually do this. Um, we can zoom in and out with any tool selected in Finale using uh, Command-Shift and it will turn your mouse into that, uh, that zoom tool. So again, command shift and click, and you get zoom in, command shift and click, zoom in. Command option shift will give you the zoom tool with the minus sign in it, meaning you're gonna zoom out. And again, this works from any tool, so even in the measure tool, it will work the same way. Um, there are other ways to zoom in and out in Finale. And the one that I use quite often is the command plus and minus signs, which will zoom in and out. So command plus zooms in, command minus zooms out. Uh, fairly simple. And uh, I had looked this up just so that you're all aware of it. You can zoom out as far as this. And uh, Finale will cycle through a set of uh, zoom percentages, and I'll just show you what these are. Um, so it starts at 10%. So you're looking at 10% right now and then 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%, 125%, 150%, 200%, 300%, 400%, 500%, 600%, 700%, 800%, 900%, and 1,000%. And it will not go any farther than that. You can see I'm trying to zoom in, and it will not go any farther. All right, so that's uh, those are the preset zoom in and out uh, numbers using the command plus and minus options. There are a few other um, uh, functions here that I think are, are worth noting. Uh, in particular, command option with the left and right brackets will do a couple of uh, nifty things for us. Command option, let's start with the command option right bracket. That's the, that's the square bracket to the right of the P key. So command option right bracket. Um, what this will do is fit the, w uh, fit the width. So now you can see that my two pages sort of fit nicely the width of my screen. Uh, command option left bracket will fit the window. So now you can see that um, up and downwards, you see there's a nice little uh, amount of uh, blue space on the top and blue space on the bottom. Uh, so slightly different command option right and left brackets, fit width, fit window. Um, and these commands, by the way, uh, are only available in page view. Those, those two commands will not work in scroll view. Everything else that I've showed you up to this point will work the same in either uh, page or scroll view, or uh, studio view for that matter. There are some other options for zoom. We can uh, create a custom zoom of, of any percentage that we want by pressing Command-0. We'll get this tiny little window that will ask us what zoom percentage we want, and we can literally type in anything we want. So if I wanted to see it at 216%, I just type 216, return, to hit OK, and now I'm at 216%. All right, so that's Command-0. And for me, I happen to know that 110% is the number that will look good on my laptop screen with my setup and uh, will leave me some room for my tool palette here and I'll still be able to see the whole page. So uh, when I'm on my laptop, I generally use the 110% zoom percentage. We also have available to us three customizable zoom percentages using command one, two, or three. And out of the box, Finale will set these to command one will be 100%. Command 2 will be 200%, and Command 3 will be 75%, not 300%, like you might expect, <laughs> but uh, 100, 200, and 75% for Command 1, 2, and 3. Um, now these, as I mentioned, are customizable, and there's a few ways uh, to do that. Uh, first of all, if you go into the View menu under Zoom, um, uh, oh yeah, we'll talk about last size in a minute, but let me skip over to Define Custom Zooms. And this will take you to the Finale Preferences, the View pane of here. We can also obviously get there just directly from Finale Preferences. All right, so we're looking at Zoom, and right here in the top section, you can sort of see what those custom Zoom percentages are, 100, 275, as I mentioned. This is how it Finale comes out of the box for you. Now, again, I mentioned that I happen to know that 
is a good number for me to use in this particular setup. So for me, I'm just gonna set the custom zoom to 110%. And now when I press Command-1, I get to 110%. And we know that because if I press Command-0, it will tell me that I'm at 110% uh, right now. The other thing that we can do that's related to this in the Finale Preferences is if you go to the New uh, pane right here, there's an option here where it says New Document Windows View Percentage, and it's listed at 100%. That's uh, how it is out of the box with Finale. Um, this is actually the view percentage that the file will open with when you first open it. So again, for me, I happen to know that 110% is a little bit better, so I can change that to 110%, and whenever I open a new file, it will open at 110%, and it will also open in page view book style row, which I talked about in one of the previous videos as well. Uh, so this is uh, affects only when you open a new document, all right? So I'm just gonna set that the way that I want. And uh, I told you I skipped over something in this zoom menu right here. There is another option here for uh, last size, and that will literally do just that. Whatever percentage you happen to have been at last, it will go to the last size. Um, it's unfortunate there, that there is no key keyboard shortcut for this. I feel like that would be a, a handy thing to have, but you can see that there's no keyboard shortcut. And incidentally, you can see all of those keyboard shortcuts that I had mentioned um, already in this menu right here. So if you happen to forget some of these uh, keystroke combinations, you can find them from the view zoom uh, section right here. And just when you thought that I've exhausted everything with the uh, zoom in and out in Finale, uh, think again. Uh, there's one more way we can zoom in Finale, and this will work whether you're in the, zo the uh, zoom tool or not. Um, again, without the zoom tool, Command Shift will uh, get you the zoom tool. Um, we can also lasso zoom, and what that means is that if you click, hold, and release, um, you can draw a box like this, and Finale will attempt to put um, all of that on the screen for you, just like that. As you see, uh, now it's zoomed in f to my four woodwinds, uh, very simply like that. It works with the uh, zoom out tool, but this is a little bit uh, more tenuous. If you draw a box, it sort of takes a guess at what you really want to see. Um, I haven't quite figured out the the uh, actual algorithm for this, but I know if you draw a really small box, you'll get a really small view percentage. So. Uh, it is somewhat relative to the size of the box that you draw with the uh, uh, command option shift, uh, click and drag, uh, zoom out function. So uh, that's how that works. And incidentally, this lasso zoom uh, function will only work in page view. This will not work in scroll view. So if you attempt this in scroll view, it will not work. Um, it, it will actually work just a single click. So if you're in scroll view and you press command shift, a single click will indeed uh, zoom you in. But trying to click and drag just you know gives you a, a, a straight zoom in uh, same thing with the uh, zoom out you can't actually click hold and drag in scroll view but it works just fine in page view and I think uh, I think that's it that's that exhausts everything in the zoom tool um, now you know everything and more that you could ever want to know about zooming in and out of your music in finale uh, I hope this has helped um, Thanks for watching. Come back. We'll do a couple more videos on uh, nailing navigation coming up, and I will see you then.